Yeah, guys, it's been a very dry February. Take a look at these deficits continuing to grow. We're about half of average for the northern Sierra. And then for most of the valley, we're at about a third to even a quarter of what we should be in total rainfall and snowfall throughout the region. And we are losing ground quickly here because you can see each month as we dig deeper towards that summer season, we lose the potential for rain so dramatically. The big months for big gains are December, January, February into parts of March. But it's really a tough struggle as we head towards April and May. Temperatures for today topping out close to 70 to 73 degrees throughout the valley, 60s throughout the foothills, and then close to 50 for this year. So we had a bit of snow melt going on for today. Gilmore Backyard for the rest of this afternoon. Heading into this evening, clear skies. Temperatures still holding in the mid to upper 60s to right around 70 for Sacramento, Stockton, Modesto, and Marysville. 45 degrees with clear skies for Tahoe. Today, first day of meteorological spring. Yeah, we marked that for the first day of the calendar of March, whereas the astronomical, the vernal equinox, that'll be March 20th. So a couple more weeks here before we get to what a lot of people technically call spring. Gorgeous lookout here from Ed Engelhart. He was out hiking at Benton Mills Trail. You can see some of the green grass, but also some low water levels there. Send us or upload those photos on the ABC 10 app to be a part of our ABC 10 weather force. Well, also something that goes along with spring are the pollen counts tomorrow. Still in the medium high range and top allergens remain many of the trees that we see blooming throughout much of the region. Low pressure system scooting in towards Southern California, giving us a few clouds there for Tuesday and Wednesday. Temperatures stay pretty steady and then we're right back to this ridge of high pressure, keeping the storm track to the north and this low from coming in. But it is finally going to break through as we head towards the weekend. Highs near 50 tomorrow for this year. We're at 59 for Pollock Pines, Angels Camp 65. Jackson, we're at 66 with Twain Hart at 60. Auburn, 67 there for Placer County. A little bit higher up, Forest Hill, 62, as well as Nevada City. Five-day forecast highs will stay right around 50 with that chance of showers coming in. By Saturday, highs will drop to near 40 for the Tahoe Basin. 50s and 60s as we head towards the coast once we head inland. Fairfield up to 74 tomorrow. We're at 71 for Tracy and Manteca. Turlock 70, Lodi 72 after a morning low though of 37. We're at 72 there for Davis and Yolo County as well as Woodland, Vacaville 73 as well as Rio Vista. Folsom, Roseville, El Dorado Hills close to 70 for tomorrow afternoon, putting us about 5 to 8 degrees above average. And that's pretty much where we'll stay through the end of the work week. But again, chance of showers by Saturday and a couple days next week as well.